from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. <laughs> That's quite the transition. <laughs> that was amazing, Lake City University. Of course, Jordan breaking out the booze as well. Today, a cold day for sure. We've got the cold front that pushed on in strong north winds and wind chills are in the teens and 20s. We need that beat to fire things up around here. We got cloud cover holding on right now in central Oklahoma, but we have cleared out. You're getting full sun back to the west. This is our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. You can see the cloud cover, the wind blowing the flag out there. This, yes, it is breezy right now. Let me show you what's going on across the region. We've got the cloud cover pushing out. It's still kind of pushing down to the south. What's happened is the low pressure is over here and the spin around it is counterclockwise. You can kind of see the flow of everything spinning. Eventually, this all scoots to the east sunshine galore across western Oklahoma. That cloud cover is clearing in Canadian County. This whole storm as it's passed on by, it's come out in two waves, has dumped this much precip, half of an inch in Hinton just under an inch in Fort Cobb, just under an inch in Kingfisher, inch and a half to almost two inches across the metro. Eastern side definitely getting some more. Also down near Purcell, over two inches. Up near Tulsa, south central Oklahoma, an inch of rain for February. It's amazing. Sure hate it for the folks in the west and northwest. We told you you just weren't getting much out of the system. But hang on, next week, two storms and both of them look to impact northwestern Oklahoma with some very nice moisture. And oh, by the way, the flooding still ongoing in southeastern in Oklahoma that is going to fill up Broken Bow Lake five to six inches of rain and still more moisture headed to that part of the state later today. Currently it's 30 degrees. We're below freezing, but we're dry. We had some moisture overnight. The winds dried out the roadways. We're looking good. Not seeing any big issues. What I've done here is I have next gen live and then I also have this pink line. That is the freezing line. If you're north of that, everyone up here is below freezing. Along and south of that, just above freezing. And what you're seeing, what looks like rain is actually some very light snow. But what's happening at the surface is the air is so dry under that cloud deck. Most of this is evaporating. Maybe some spitting flurries or a little bit of some drizzle now from Payne to Wayne to Rosedale to Annette. None of the uh, instruments down here reporting actually receiving any precip. Not out of the question to get some of it down to the ground, but most of this is evaporating. And this will go on for another couple of hours. We are above freezing from Paul's Valley to Sulphur, back to Duncan, and then this area, central northern Oklahoma. We're going to warm it up here in a little bit. Right now, 15 to 25 mile an hour wind out of the north, and it has a bite to it. It feels like the teens. I told you we dropped down into the teens by 9 o'clock, and that is what has happened. 18 at Will Rogers, 16 degrees in El Reno, 17 in Mulhall, 16 in Ponca City. Feels like 22 in Shawnee and back into western Oklahoma. Teens all across the region, and it will stay cold all day long. We'll have the sunshine around. We'll warm it back into the 40s, but the, the blue number here is your wind chill. It stays in the 30s throughout the day. And those winds do back off into the late afternoon and evening. 40s across the region for highs today. This afternoon, a wintry mix to the east. And we may pick up a one to two inch bullseye here. Some areas closer to three in the mountains in southeast Oklahoma. This storm is moving on by. It's out of here. This weekend, we kind of have this ridge that builds in. Our temperatures warm up. It's going to be cold tonight, very cold tonight to start off your weekend tomorrow morning. But then we do get warmer 60s on Sunday. We turn windy Monday into Tuesday. Gulf moisture strings in and as this storm swings out. We've got to watch it. We have a chance for heavy rain and thunderstorms right now. The severe threat not really there. If this changes a little bit and slows down, could have a severe threat with it. Next storm right on its heels. This one, I took the Gulf moisture off and put the Arctic air on. This thing brings in a strong cold front Wednesday night into Thursday, and that may bring us some winter weather as it arrives. So we're watching both of them and both look to bring a lot of moisture back to Oklahoma and this time some of those bullseyes could be in the north and northwest. But tonight we're quiet. May have a little fog in eastern Oklahoma tonight. Then tomorrow morning sunshine, winds not crazy, 40s and 50s for highs. It's chilly. Sunday we do turn windy. And by the way, Sunday morning we may have some pretty thick fog down to the south. We'll watch for that. Sunday 60s, mid 60s in the west. We do turn breezy and then Monday night into Tuesday, the moisture comes back up over the state. Rain, thunderstorms looks to be nearly a statewide event. Make it a wintry mix into the parts of the day coming up in northwestern Oklahoma. Jumping ahead to storm number two, Wednesday into Thursday could see rain changing over to snow and right now it's a long way away. The majority of the snow looks to be to the north, but that can still change. It will change. So stay tuned with it as we head through your weekend. Enjoy your weekend sunshine near 60 and we'll talk about those storms and first valentine's day and we're back with more right after this